I'm April Cattell, owner of Automated Shading and Lighting Control, and welcome to ASI TV. This week, I'm going to share with you some of the factors we consider to select the very best fabrics for shading and how we determine that. Your fabric choice can either enhance your space and the use of your space, or seriously detract from it. For example, did you know that a darker fabric manufactured the same way as a lighter color fabric can actually provide you a better view from your window? Or did you know that fabrics have ratings? A darker fabric with a low solar reflectance rating can absorb and re-radiate solar heat into the space as opposed to some lighter fabrics that actually will help reflect solar heat off of the building and keep a room much cooler. Here's a tip for you. A solar reflectance value that is greater than 30% will provide you with some protection, while a value greater than 50% provides a much better, higher rate of solar protection. You'll also want to consider factors such as reducing glare, increasing privacy, daylight autonomy, or retaining your view through the shade. All of these are important to selecting the optimal fabric. Think of it this way. Would you select the same fabric with the purpose of enjoying a beautiful sunset as you would to protect your wood floors or valuable artwork? Or would you select one fabric to keep an office space cooler at high sun times, but perhaps another to minimize any uncomfortable glare on a computer or media screen? These are important things to consider. One of our preferred suppliers, Lutron, has a great tool available to assist with this. Let's take a look. In today's commercial spaces, shades are shifting from a furnishing to a high performance component within a building system. So selecting the optimal fabric for the application is critical. That's why Lutron developed the Performance Shading Advisor. This revolutionary web-based tool allows designers to choose fabrics based on glare reduction, daylight autonomy, and view preservation. Selecting the right fabric is easy. Input a few key project details, and the Fabric Wizard quickly estimates project-specific performance based on a unique daylighting algorithm. The results screen has three major elements. The carousel ranks all fabric combinations according to the performance algorithm, starting with the best performing fabric. The dashboard provides facades recommendations for openness factor and a summary score for three performance metrics. Each metric also has its own tab to compare performance from fabric to fabric and from closed shades to Lutron Hyperion automated shades. Very interesting. I bet you didn't know that ratings and visible transmittance values were so critical for solar fabrics. It's also important to know about THEA compliance in relation to fabric openness. This new manufacturing specification tightly controls fabric openness factor and visible transmittance values. Without this control, Installed shades may not meet the occupant comfort and energy savings expectations of the specified system. I encourage you to spend more time using the Performance Shading Advisor, or speak to an ASI team member to review your needs together to select the best performing fabric for your application. I hope this illuminated the topic of selecting the best fabric and openness factor for you. If you like this episode, let us know or send us any questions you may have on this topic. You may also subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week with a new episode of ASI TV. Tune in and learn more on controlling your light and transforming your space with shading and lighting control.